So let me get this straight. Your makeup artist canceled on you last minute. You really wanna have your makeup done professionally and this is your last hope. So you found my page and not only am I gonna teach you how to achieve a makeup look for special occasions like homecoming, cause I know this is homecoming season, but I'm also gonna make sure you never put your trust in someone else last minute ever again. What type of intro was that? I know, but I really want to make it clear that this makeup tutorial will definitely open your eyes um, at how easy it is. And, um, you know, next time you're on a budget or, you know, not wanting to spend $80 on a beat face for the night, you can come back and reference this video. No shade to any makeup artist because I would definitely, you know, get it back too um, and definitely profit off of people who don't know how to do it. But this is for the girlies who are on a budget or who got canceled on last minute or anyone who's just genuinely wondering how to do makeup. Okay, I skipped a lot of steps, but first off, I used NW55 uh, MAC foundation and I put that all over my face. And next up, I'm gonna take my 99 cent dark brown pencil and, and I'm gonna do um, my brows. I'm gonna outline my brows. If you know me and if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that my eyebrows is practically the last step. But because we're trying to go for more professional, like, you know, I'm gonna be doing flash photography and I'm gonna want this to last long. And you know, I, this is not just me running out the house. I wanted to make sure that my eyebrows looked really good. So I decided to do those first. Um, and then I was going to then conceal my brows, which I don't normally do. So I'm not the biggest advocate for um, concealing my brows because I don't ever want my brows to be the main focus. I always feel like my eyes should tell a story um, and my brows are just kind of there. So um, this really does say a lot. You want everything to be on point. So I'm definitely using that to my advantage and I'm doing my brows and I'm making sure that every little tiny crease and crevice is getting concealer. And you see how I am not using um, a concealer that is too bright. My rule of thumb is um, your concealer should be at least two shades lighter than you. Three if you're feeling frisky and know what you're doing. But I would not recommend having a just a palm colored concealer if you are dark skin. Um, only if it's like for the eyes and you plan on covering it up with a bright color. My reasoning behind that is a lot of people um, don't feel like it's important to do their brows first because, or they're scared to do their brows first because they feel like if they use concealer, it's going to not blend well. Um, but let me tell you something, if you have, if you even color, not even color corrected, I'm sorry, but if, if, if you wanted to use your foundation to clean up your brows, you wouldn't have an issue. If you used a concealer two shades brighter than your foundation, then you wouldn't have a problem. Next up, I'm taking my P. Louise base and I'm adding that to my lids. Um, and this is kind of like what I was talking about. A lot of people want to use that color um, to conceal their brows and they're scared. They're like, okay, then why would I do my brows first if I'm going to use a color like that? You don't use a color like that. Um, that's just like, you know, I thought that was like so 2016. We're not doing the halo brows anymore. Um, you know, but I'm adding my base on my lids. And that's just so pigment will show up. I know that a lot of the times um, people don't really have to use that if you're like lighter skin. Um, you can, I mean, a lot of the times their concealers are that color anyway. So it wouldn't really matter if they used um, that or not. But for if you're dark skin, I need you to use um, a base, a white base, just so you have a canvas to work on. If you don't, so colors that would naturally look kind of dull on you would be super bright, like a, a magenta or even like any shades of green and things like that. And always make sure to set your face with a a powder it can be a translucent a brightening powder just anything to set your face especially after um, 
placing concealer on your lids um, if you plan on adding eyeshadow or doing um, any type of work on your lids a lot um, sometimes you can get away with it if you're just kind of like using one color and you know you just kind of want it to define your features and not really like a bold color you can you can pass it off as that but you know go ahead and bake next up you're going to take a neutral color and that happens to be orange and red for me and i'm going to add that on top of my lids and i'm going to just spread that everywhere if you know me you know i am not just a clean freak i'm okay with it being everywhere um, i know that i can clean it up if need be but i am not um, a perfectionist whatsoever and I'm okay with especially if it's a um, neutral color I'm totally okay with it being you know a little messy I'm gonna take that and add it and a uh, build on it um, and this is just kind of like shaping your eyes um, and then next up I'm gonna take a dark brown and I'm gonna place that in my inner corner I know I said it in my last video an ungodly amount of times, but you are looking for that ombre effect. I want to be able to see what I did and everything that I placed on me was for a reason. So there's no point in bringing up that dark brown and covering that orange or that like natural neutral color if you know it's just going to be covered up what was the point so you need to have a balance in how it's gonna go from orange to to dark brown um so i'm playing around and building um that color in my face and i'm not really worried about shaping my face just yet um i'm going for a cat eye subtle cat eye um but once i use my concealer i'll definitely get there um, I added my foundation first just so I can already have that on my eyes because I didn't want to add, you know, foundation on my eyes and skip that part. So I decided to, um, do my foundation first, brow second, add my eyes, finish off my face, and then I'll do my under eyes. I feel like that's just like vital um because we're going for a deep sultry sexy look you know i want to be able to look in someone's eyes and they look away so fast because they're like oh my god like i do not want to make eye contact with her who is that like oh my god is that mccoy like i need folks to be like no who did your makeup where did you get your makeup done are you on your way to an editorial who are you signed by like i need to know the deeds did you get buccal fat removed like i i need the questions to be just coming through okay i'm going back in with that orange just to give you know that redacted word effect um i also wanted shimmer how are you going to homecoming without no type of shimmer like yeah we get it y'all love the cut creases y'all love you know the soft glams but like you can still be in the category of soft glam and still incorporate glitter i feel like a lot of the times people are so afraid of glitter because it can over like do the look and sometimes you know people are scared of that and that's why people run away from birthday makeup and prom makeup and you know when it comes to getting your makeup professionally done a lot of people are hesitant to do it because they're intimidated by what they see online but i'm sorry y'all i will forever be riding behind glitter like there are so many ways to incorporate it in your look without it being like overwhelming and just like hey guys like i just got my makeup done you know i really wanted it to be a moment of like you know someone really taking the time to appreciate like your eye look not like oh you look like you got your shit done like you know so next up i'm gonna be taking my elf liner and i honestly i haven't done liner in a long time trust me i know how to do eyeliner but i don't feel like it is important for this look because we will be adding lashes and later on in the video i'll be deepening 
the dark brown because I realized like after the fact I'm like okay wait like I think I might need to make it a little bit darker because it wasn't giving me that sultry look that I was looking for I'm going ahead and placing my lashes on y'all stop wearing huge lashes especially when you have like a really nice like eyeshadow look because all it's doing is just taking that away from your look and it just looks overwhelming so like I said probably another one another reason why people aren't really a fan of birthday makeup or blah 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 is because like you have like a big shadow look and big lashes and a big lip combo can we like tone it down we need kind of like a balance a yin yang like okay fine like i will have big eyeshadow and very much you know technical eyeshadow but my lashes will be natural but also still step into like i know like these will definitely be in my rotation i'm so sad that i only got one pair of those lashes because i got them from um dollar tree yeah dollar tree like those those lashes look really good i'm looking for um some replicates i'm getting so off track but i just took my uh maybelline magic eraser and um a discontinued number 147 and I'm adding that underneath my eye and that's actually the one that I concealed my brows with I'm taking that all the way up to give me a lift an eye lift almost then you know earlier earlier I said don't worry about that cat, cat eye we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it it's gonna come all together that's because you're using your concealer to cut that um and making it look subtle not really like a, a line more so like oh like that's her eye shape you know and of course adding it to my t-zone my nose and my my chin i'm adding that and i'm blending it um less is more and i really love how buildable this um this concealer is i will forever be using this concealer because seriously i, I don't I think I've found a better concealer and I've used a lot of concealers in my lifetime but this is the one that I always um, I always go back to and I ended up buying I was so desperate I I bought um, the discontinued shades off eBay because yeah like they're selling them on eBay um, unused of course and it just looks so good but it's not a natural look like i hope y'all i hope y'all don't think like oh like okay like it's not everyday natural oh no baby we're stepping it up we, we want flash photography like i want a bright under eye and revel revolution um concealer in c13 definitely does that for me okay pay attention to where i placed that bright color okay right underneath my eye and when I'm blending it I am blending it only underneath my eye and I am NOT taking it down that far y'all you should not be using a, a concealer shade that's four shades lighter than you all the way down to your cheeks it's just a recipe for disaster and so much mixing and like so many things that you have to fix um, and at the end result will just have you looking cakey trust me i have been there i have done that i have learned so you don't have to make the same mistakes as me trust me girl you don't you do not need to add concealer all the way at the bottom of your cheeks it like if you want to add concealer okay add a concealer that's two shades lighter than you um and you have all like that free range Next up, I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder um, and I'm adding that underneath my eyes. It's, it's in translucent honey. And I started back using this because y'all know I was using my Ben Nye. This one is so good. Like, I, I'm just remembering how much I loved using her so bad. I mean, it's only been like a couple of weeks, but like a couple of weeks too long because she was in my like everyday routine. But I really like her, especially for like nighttime um and if you want a matte seamless look 
Laura Mercier is going to give that to you every single time. Um, very worth the price and I will be purchasing her 10 times over and will recommend as well. Um, I'm adding that um, underneath my chin, my underneath, uh, like above my nose, on my nose, on my brows, just everywhere. Um, you can really use this translucent honey all over your face, but let's be real, y'all. Like, for people who just use that all over their face, they're probably very, very light. But for us dark skins, we gotta be careful, okay? You know, if we want to use a powder all over our face, we have to be careful with what we use because a lot of the times they'll try to market that as like, oh, well, it's it's sheer and it just shows the, the product that you have underneath. But no, babe, like it never gave that. So, you know, I'm adding that underneath my eye and all over my face and all my smile lines as well. Um, I feel like Laura Mercier has a really does a really good job in hiding your smile lines. Um, so that is another another plus for Laura Mercier like that's my girl for real next up I'm taking my black jumbo pencil and I'm lining underneath my eyes and I'm making it thick like Cleopatra thick like two lines underneath my eye thick um and I'm doing that because I'm telling you when you line your like never forget when you line underneath your eyes you can give someone the death stare and i'm sure that they would be so scared to come up to you and talk to you like this is borderline unapproachable makeup um because of how good it looks when you just have that black that pitch black underneath your eye love like folks are stopping and staring and you don't even feel guilty about it because you know you look good I, I just like i love having those moments walking into spaces knowing i look good and a lot of the times it's because of that black i'm gonna go ahead and take my james charles palette and um i'm gonna use that black shade and i'm gonna go in and stamp um what i just did just to deepen it and make it look black um yeah I just I did that I feel like that's a, a really uh, nice step it made it like darker for some reason even though the pencil did its job but you know I just I took it a step further um, next up I'm also stamping um, for the illusion of um, eyeliner I guess kind of sort of then I'm blending it in because I also added it um, in my inner corner then I'm taking you can use any mascara really for your under um, under your eye I'm using the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. And, um, you know, this is one of my favorite parts of doing makeup is the lashes. Because they always look super long and voluminous. And, yeah, just another addition of, of looking sexy. Next up, I'm taking my bronzer and I'm adding that, you know, where you need to be bronzed. Slash contour because, I mean... Is it really a bronzer if I'm using it as contour? I don't know. I don't really even know the difference. I know bronzers are more warm and, you know, cut creases are more harsh. But I feel like I have a little bit of both uh, playing with this palette. And I really do love it. And I want to try um, Fenty Beauty's Mocha Mommy next. Because I know the dark skin girlies are eating in that shade. Um, just waiting for my turn for sure. I love that one a lot. Next up, I'm taking my Juvia's Place um, Very Berries. Y'all, do you I, do you see me taking legit every single ounce of the product off of my brush? I kid you not, that's how pigmented this blush is. I took every last bit of product off and I stamped my face and then I started blending. I'm telling you, you can really get yourself carried away with this blush. You have to be careful and there's no way, there's no way I'm, I'm beating my entire face and then I'm going back because I'm having to start over or take some stuff off because I have too much blush on. No, ma'am, that's not happening. Um, but it looks good, though. I mean, I'm giving her her coins for sure. Next up, I'm taking my Juvie's Place um, uh, 
powder blush in a, like a pink shade just to give me like a rosy look I know it kind of doesn't really look like it on camera it doesn't even look like I added any product on camera but I just was too nervous to keep adding more you know I told you about that yin yang we can't be having way too much that pink is non-existent um honestly I just do it to make myself feel better putting that underneath my eyes you don't see a difference but um it feels good to to have it there really um for decoration more or less um next up i'm doing my lips do y'all see that dimple though or am i okay let, let's get back but i'm lining my lips with mac chestnut um and i'm playing it cool i'm playing it cool i'm playing it cool you know me um last episode last video i'm talking about i discovered overlining my lips and i i i'm oc about it now i'm telling you like you will never see me just regularly lining my lips i have opened a new portal um that mac chestnut does a really great job in being like subtle um so yeah then i'm taking my nyx abu dhabi adding that all over my lips and then of course adding my boy bait mac boy bait all over my lips as well and making sure it gets on the overlined like I'm not missing any single parts I want it to look seamless and pretty and this is the final look I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, and I'll see you in my next one I love you so much I'm so awkward at endings okay goodbye <laughs>